hereditary leiomyomatosis and renal cell cancer, also known as HLRCC for short, is a hereditary condition that affects an unknown number of individuals and families worldwide. The condition was previously thought to only affect a small number of families. However, new research suggests HLRCC is the most common hereditary kidney cancer syndrome and many have yet to be diagnosed. Those affected with HLRCC have inherited a faulty copy of the fumarate hydratase gene along with a normal copy of the fumarate hydratase gene from their parents. Due to this faulty gene, there are lower levels of normal fumarate hydratase within the mitochondria of cells. If a person with HLRCC loses their only normal copy of the fumarate hydratase gene in their lifetime, a process known as loss of heterozygosity, then they're at risk of tumor development. Without functional fumarate hydratase within cells, the metabolite fumarate can accumulate to extreme levels. In the case of kidney cells, elevated fumarate can be harmful and increases the risk of kidney cancer by variable estimates. HLRCC is also associated with the development of benign skin leomyomas and uterine leomyomas, also known as uterine fibroids. The most feared complication of HLRCC is kidney cancer, which can occur in approximately 15% of patients. Kidney cancer that develops in HLRCC patients is known as FH-deficient RCC and has aggressive tendencies. It's imperative that individuals with HLRCC undergo annual abdominal MRIs beginning at the age of 8 to catch early cancers. Prompt surgical resection of kidney tumors detected on imaging should be performed with wide margins. Active surveillance of kidney tumors in HLRCC individuals is not recommended even for tumors as small as 1 cm due to their aggressive nature. Skin leiomyomas can be painful to the touch or painful due to cold weather. Some HLRCC individuals have hundreds or even thousands of these skin bumps, while others have none. Most people with HLRCC have at least a few. These skin bumps are sometimes thought to be moles, keloids, or other benign skin tags. Recognition by healthcare providers is important so that individuals with HLRCC can be identified through genetic testing. In addition to skin leomyomas, women with HLRCC often develop uterine leomyomas, also known as uterine fibroids. Women with HLRCC can be affected with multiple uterine fibroids that can present in late teen years and early 20s. Genetic testing of blood or saliva can detect a mutation in the fumarate hydratase FH gene. If a person has a pathogenic mutation in the fumarate hydratase gene, then he or she has HLRCC. Genetic testing can be ordered by a clinician or through direct-to-consumer companies such as Invite. Research aimed at understanding the biology of HLRCC will help us understand how kidney cancer develops and lead to novel treatments for individuals with HLRCC and non-hereditary kidney cancer.